My video guide is about removing the unwanted extension called new tabber. It's unwanted because it typically acts as a browser hijacker. The developers claim that it's the extension that makes your browsing experience awesome. But the point is that it changes the default search engine to Yahoo. Um, Software within this classification promotes fake uh, web searchers by making alteration to browser settings. Additionally, browser hijackers typically have data tracking abilities and it is highly likely to apply to new tabber as well. Since most people download and install browser hijackers unintentionally, they are also categorized as potentially unwanted applications. So if you have mistakenly added this extension to your Google Chrome, you will notice uh, such um, unwanted changes to take place. I will show you how exactly it happens. So when you submit some search queries, you may notice that the results are delivered by Yahoo Search. If you are not happy with such uh, alterations, you need to get rid of the extension from your Google Chrome as soon as possible. How can this be done? Well. First of all, go to the menu of your browser, which looks as this circle with three vertical dots. Go to More Tools, click on Extensions. So here you'll find this new tab or extension. You may deactivate and then remove it completely. Also, I strongly advise that you additionally inspect and research your Mac computer with a Combo Cleaner antivirus and the best place to get it is on the page combocleaner.com. After you successfully download and install the software, click on Start Combo Scan and let the application perform the free analysis of your Mac. This is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus. Initially, it is in the trial mode, however, the program performs free scanning of your Mac. You may go to the antivirus section and uh, click on review results. The program will show you the um, exact uh, number of threads, plus uh, you'll be able to know their exact location in your Mac. So how to get rid of these threads manually and for free? As you can clearly see, you may click on this icon that says show in Finder and uh, this will show you the exact location of each specific thread in Finder. You may right-click on it and move the particular item to the trash. So once again, click on this icon, remove the thread manually, and uh, you may also consider purchasing the premium version of the program to get rid of all these threads automatically.